Hello everybody, Lawrence Fleming here again. We are still here. <clears throat> we keep watching the days tick off, the high watch days. I'm not sure what Satan's waiting on. He may be a little bit afraid of starting things. consider him a coward anyway, because if he wasn't, he'd admit he was wrong. He does have a job to do, and that is to wake the world up. It's not bad enough for us to be out of here yet. And the world doesn't really know what's going on. <clears throat> Feels strange that it's so warm out. We get this about this time here in Georgia, Indian summer. We're getting ready to do a time change, so make sure you're up on that. It's possible that may be our last one. They may be getting ready to remove this obsolete wartime event, and that's what it is. It was created for uh, I've got some different branches here, and I'm not sure which way to go. Ah. Well, the right one looks interesting, so I guess I'm going to go this way. I do have my map in my pocket, but I won't call on it until I get lost. I won't get lost. Uh, do I see water? Potentially. So, we keep watching things slowly get worse. But nobody's willing to move into offense. Knowing, of course, as soon as they do, it's going to start this whole ball rolling. Yeah, more swamp. Now. There are some ducks. Okay, here's where I'm at. Got some water here. And I do not see, well, there's a, a large tree here. I could probably walk across, but since this is not a real trail, I don't particularly want to go getting lost over there in those woods. This is my last real day of hiking because I've this is the last trail I haven't hiked on. <clears throat> So hopefully God will have something else going on that I can talk about because I'm getting, I get bored easy and he knows that. I love exploring.
when all this is over and we got our new heaven and earth and we don't really have any work to do. I'm assuming there'd be some stuff, but... I want to tell them, okay, I'll see you later. I'm going to go explore. I used to tell my dad that when we go places. He's doing his work, and I'm off running around the hills looking for things. And I did find some interesting things. Don't have any of it anymore. I went away in the Navy and came back. My mom threw pretty much all of it out. But I would find old buildings, and I mean old, built with square nails, old trash heaps with old tin cans in it, real old ones, 1800s time frame. I'd find some old watches, those little pocket watches, they used to call them dollar watches. coming down on a, another trail to the water, but I'm afraid it's going to dead end too. Ugh. Yeah. I don't see any way to get across this. So I'm going to turn around and go back. If you like the outdoors, you like these last few videos, I'm kind of getting <clears throat> to where I, I really hate repeating myself. <clears throat> if you've been paying attention, you know, as I've said many times, we don't know the day of the rapture. If I'm still here when this gets posted, I can reaffirm that we don't know the day, but we know the season. And we are definitely in the season, which means it could be any time. All right. One last different trail to go on. So I will ask God again to protect us while we wait. Get Satan to come down here and get out of out of heaven. He doesn't deserve to be up there. He's got to do his first attack. And then God's response is to kick him out of heaven. So come on, Satan, get going. Becoming a disappointment. Yeah, I know. I'm talking to the most powerful earthly being out there. Well, ruler of the earth and spiritual being next to God. But he can't do anything if God doesn't authorize it. So I'm in good shape and you all are in good shape too. Satan's bothering you, just tell him to get away. And he has to flee. Just make sure that you really do have Jesus as a personal friend. If he's not, if you just know his name, don't challenge Satan. But if you are a personal friend of Jesus, if Satan starts to bother you, just tell him to go away. 
Ask God for repentance just in case you're doing something you shouldn't. And hold on to his sleeve. Don't let him out of your sight. I am walking in thick sand. Ugh. Uphill. That's all right, I need the exercise. Okay. I really don't have a, a message from God other than to just keep holding on. I am surprised that we're still here. Things may not be exactly the way the harlot wants them to be, but everything is set up to collapse in that direction. Anybody ever use a chainsaw to cut down a tree? Well, the first thing you do is you go around, and it's a, assuming it's a big tree. You go on both sides and make your marks. You figure out which direction you want it to fall. And you make your V-cut in that direction. Paying close, close attention to how the tree is balanced. Sometimes they lean one way or another. If there's dangers of it hurting something falling, tie a rope onto it and pull it in the direction you want it to go. But then, once you got the V-cut in, go on the other side and start cutting through, cutting down at an angle. Depends on the individual tree, but that's a general rule on it. You can kind of score around it if you want, and then go back to cutting through it. And you cut a little bit at a time, and you check it. If it's a larger tree, you might use some wedges to start moving it in that direction. Pound in your steel wedges. But when you get right to the edge and it's almost ready to break loose, you can hear it. Just a little crack here and there. Now you want to do a little cuts and be careful because once it lets go, you're not sure exactly if you've got it picked out right. And sometimes they splinter and fall apart at the base and you don't want to get hurt. So as soon as you can start hearing sort of like the beginnings of your popcorn cooking, as soon as you start hearing those cracks start to increase, back up, good 10 feet, and watch. And that's kind of where we're at. And that was the reason for that little story. This tree that we're sitting on, this world, is about ready to topple over. Every once in a while you can hear a crack. We call them earthquakes, but they're happening. We're not very far from it falling over. Once you get it to a certain point, over time it will fall on its own. But you want to be able to control it so you can make sure no one gets hurt and it goes the direction you want. Well, Satan doesn't care if anybody gets hurt, but he has instructions from God on who he can and who he cannot hurt, so he's got to be careful. Since I'm making this early in the week, and this will come out on the weekend probably, I don't know what's happening this week. So I'm unable to really talk about it. That's the problem of getting too far ahead. But I'm probably not going to be able to do any videos over the weekend. But this has been a busy week. And if this doesn't make the tree fall over, Next week will.
keep looking after your stores. Keep trying to talk to your family. If they don't want to talk about God, you can at least talk about what's going on in the news. Eventually, it's going to scare them. I know too many people have been blinded until we get out of here. But that's why you got to plant the seeds. Ah, uh, that's a long uphill walk in sand. Another trail crossing the path. And no signs. Okay, nature trail there on that sign. That means I was not on the nature trail. Let me go this way. I haven't been down this path yet. Somewhere back in here is a pioneering site. Most of these parks are not designed to be, I don't want to necessarily say handicapped, but my knee will not let me carry a backpack very far. It's really quiet out here and I'm enjoying this. It's finally leveled out. I'm enjoying it because they've been working on that comfort station bathroom <clears throat> not too far from me. They've got the walls almost all the way up doing bricks, brick laying. The workers are not terribly noisy. That's not a problem. But these are civilian workers and they're playing their music loud. If they were a guest of the park, they'd be told to turn the music down. I see a house back in the distance. I must be getting close to the side of the park. This seems to be a fairly popular area. One, two. I see a bunch of buildings over there, so. Right alongside of the park, there's houses. I notice as I'm, as I'm leaving, I see them. All right. Well, I have another nature trail sign, but now I'm cutting back. Right, I don't want to go backwards. Because then it just cut back into the trail I've already been to. Well, there's one more trail I haven't been on, so I'm going to go back to it. I saw it back here. I sit here and think that as I'm doing this, just happy as a clam to be out here in nature, we've got people out there that are dying due to this war. Sad. Other people are trying to figure out how they're going to survive the winter. major cities over there in Ukraine are without power, without water even.
Russia is not bombing civilian sites in general. The Arabs would be more than happy to do that, so I want to talk about the level of evil. Russia's not as bad as the Arab countries. It's almost laughable, but they may hold that position until they use a nuke. Russia is the only country currently in war that could use a nuke and have plenty more to back it up. Iran, if they have one, may only have two or three at max. Same goes for North Korea. China probably has some, but they don't have enough. And the problem is with nukes is that it will make the land in, uninhabitable. And that's not good if the reason you're taking on uh, if you're taking on a country because you want to claim that area if they're making lots of money you don't want to shut them down you want to keep that. Okay. All right. How are we doing on time? I might try to squeeze in a little Bible study for this, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. See you in the cloud. The roads here are pretty well marked. It would be hard to get lost, but it's possible. Coming up on two major campsites. We have our RV dumping station. They will take black and gray water. Most weekend campers will use that. Long term campers are in the process of converting if they haven't already to maybe composting toilets or something else so they don't have to be tied to a station. Some parks, especially out west, will let you dump your gray tanks on the ground. They usually designate an area. Okay. There's supposed to be a quiet time and pets are supposed to be on a leash. I wonder how all the people that come into these camps out of that have pets and radios manage to get a driver's license not being able to read. Okay, campground one, and they've got the hosts over in campground two, but they're always driving around in their little green four-wheelers, so. You can see my campsite coming up with my white car. Another sign just in case I couldn't read the last one. It doesn't seem to help. Every campsite has a different speed limit, so you gotta pay attention. Some campsites say 15 and 25 on the main road. This one here, it's five miles an hour. And there's my campsite. I just want to bring you up to this sign here. Okay, so we have protected species here. And that's a turtle and then a snake. Do not harm them. Snakes, as a general rule, you want to leave alone because they eat mice and other small critters. There's no reason to mess with turtles. Their disadvantage is that they're so slow. You 
you would think most of these signs are for kids, but adults don't know how to behave either. You can hear them over there cutting. I guess I'm going to go back in my tent and put on my headphones. I'll have to start breaking this down tomorrow. If it's not going to rain, I might even take the rain fly off. I might even go through and take out all the takes, all the stakes. The tent's not going to blow away with me in it. That way in the morning, all I got to do is to fold it up and put it in the bag and I'm ready to go. Okay. Hope you're having a great day. Blessings.